Welcome to this week's Tanika Tanika. I'm Marissa. That's Tanika. Yep. Say hello to our friends. Hello. <laughs> well, I should, we, 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 should, are... we should preface before you start. Or are you going to, let me not walk over you. Go ahead. Sorry. No, it's okay. No, finish your thought. No, I was just going to say for the next few weeks or so, we're doing our show remotely. So if you hear yeah. any kinks or anything like that, um, we're using recording devices. We don't actually see each other, but I, we see each other. I see you, but I don't see you, but I see exactly. you. Right. Um, but these are historic times, and I feel like I'm not quite sure about our grandparents' generation or our parents' generation, but I feel like we have gone through so many historic moments. But as of right now, um, with this pandemic that we are uh, currently living in, um, living through, um, I think this is precedented and historic. I'm not quite sure. Do you know, Tamika? I don't think there's ever been a pandemic like this before where we're in national lockdown. Not that I'm aware of, although I'm not a historian. Um, Neither am I. There could be one in another country that I'm unaware of. Yeah, I don't. I've never seen anything like this or experienced well, anything. And and we we're just beginning. This is day one of stay your ass home. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, we, well, you had to work today, though, right? No, I took today off. Oh, 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 right. right. My apologies. Uh, so it, it's under a very strong urging that we let first responders and hospitals and, um, you know, those that do medical necessities like pharmacists, um, uh, housing and clothing, not in clothing, but food necessities, supermarket, um, right. grocery employees, all that stuff to give them to do what they need to do and stay your ass home, basically. Right. But I wanted, I, I have a train of thought in my mind and I want to talk it out with you. Hopefully, I know I'm not going to stay on topic because that's just how I do. But well, first of all, you I never gave to, a topic. I'm about to do that right now. Oh, okay. It's about, it's about this pandemic. Well, it has to deal with the pandemic. It has to do with, I want to talk about human compassion um, and how they probably relate and where they don't. There's there overlap and there's some overlap. Now, um, I'm sure you've seen on social media and on the news how there's actually a toilet paper shortage right now and people are fighting, physically fighting each other for rolls of toilet paper. Have you Have you seen any of this? I've seen video footage of it. If I can try to post one of the things I've seen, I, I will. Well, not only that, now there is diaper shortages and formula shortages. Um, oh, there's no bread nowhere. Yeah, there's nobody got bread <laughs> either. But, but here's, hmm. here's my thing, though. So when it comes to, like, um, pandemic pandemonium, oh, that's what it should be, pandemic pandemonium. Um, when okay, we, that's when topic. Talking, that's the, that's the title. Oh, <laughs> so, what, no, I'm talking about how when we when we have these panics, like, you know, when there's a hurricane or severe weather, obviously a hurricane is severe weather. But when we're going through these things, we, we act out and lash out in ways that, now I want to put a silver lining to it, and, and I'm hoping that you can help me with that. So I know that people are or people act out this way out of fear. Um, and some are just plain assholes. But those that are acting out in fear, um, how much toilet paper do you need as opposed to other necessities? I don't understand I don't the toilet paper fighting. thing. I don't know. Like, I don't hear about any, I'm sure there is, but I'm, no one's fighting at, you know, the pharmacy counter because you have to stock up on medication. Why are you fighting over toilet paper and not paper towels? I don't know. Like, we said wash your hands, not your butt, although you should wash your butt. Okay. But we focus on our hands right now, okay? Yeah. What you want to do with your funky ass is on you, but your hands be touching me. Oh, Why are you fighting over the toilet paper? Huh? Your hands, wipe your, your hands wipe your butt. I know. That's my point. But yeah, So the focus yeah. should I'm really be on, on your hands. Like, I... I, I like, if you have an issue with how you wipe your butt, like, you're not doing a good job, I don't give a shit. Just make sure you wash your hands. <laughs> so 
they could be part of the Itchy Booty Club. Just to yeah, just make sure your fingers. Again. Like I need to see fingernails. Clean what fingernails. The, what the nails do? <laughs> oh my gosh. But I'm just. But here. But then here's the thing. I'm also seeing an outpouring of compassion where people are are really you know there's um, Facebook is is the OG when it comes to like neighborhood shit. I feel like it's the old lady down the block. I really do feel like people are really making an effort to to pinpoint. Hey, um, there's kids that are missing meals because schools are closed. So they're trying to, you know, what can we do to make sure we get meals to these families? Right. Um, there's there's people that are going to be out of work, so there's a concern there too. So that you know they're they're making mention of these issues, but out of concern, um, or at least that's how I'm I'm taking it. So we're fist fighting each other over toilet paper, and then in such a juxtaposition. We're pouring out compassion of, well, what are we going to do? A friend of mine at work, her friend is getting married next week, and she's in a panic. She doesn't know yet whether or not the hall is going to allow her reception to take place um, because they ban gatherings of over 50 people. So what's she going to do? She should be on the phone today canceling that shit. What do you mean what she's going to (laughs) do? Well, I don't know. She's not going to, well, I don't you know. have to, they're going to, I mean, either make those things, what if they're like, well, you know, you should have called and told us and, well, no, you know, well, that's, well, that's, that, well, that's, well, that's what I'm saying, where, where the concern, the outpouring of concern for other people, the compassion is because she's saying, if she's got to reduce it to 50 people, she was telling her friend, if you got to reduce it, don't invite me. I don't need to go. Make sure your close friends and your close family are there. Apparently, she has a lot of siblings, so um, that's what she was saying. She was like, you know, I feel for her, so hopefully, if she's going to do this, 50 people is fine. You could figure out 50 people. Take me out of that equation. Why can't she just talk to the venue and reschedule it, reschedule the reception for a later date and just go to City Hall or something? Oh, that I don't know. I, this is this is uh, you don't know her. It's just, yeah. I don't know yeah. her. I know a friend of her. I don't know her. I don't know her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but then I see like. So I went to Starbucks today, um, and my ladies at Starbucks, where 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 we have a friendly banter, and she was saying, you know, I'm very concerned, but I'm also very concerned for the rest of the staff here as well. We if we close, will they pay us? I don't think so. So I'm really worried for everybody here. Oh yeah, so, the one by you is in a drive-through. No, it's not. Because no. the one by me is closed to in 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 store service. It's only a drive-through. Well, they have, they have, um, they, you can't, in the one here that's not drive through, they took away the chair so you can't sit down and you have to pick up and leave. Oh, yeah. The, so then they should be okay. People just ain't going to sit yeah. in here. That's why they only buy one drink. It's not like they buy multiple cappuccinos. Yeah. Get your shit and go. Yeah. Bye. I mean, that's how it should be anyway. So get your shit and no, go. No, no, it shouldn't um, be like that anyway. But I'm just, you, you know, no, people still need a. People. Yeah, for most. I don't know, um, but anyway, I I I think with the the compassion thing, I think people also have to think about the service industry. So I yeah. I was driving back from North Carolina yesterday with uh, my family, and we stopped, you know, to get gas and get something to eat. And um, you know, yet I go to the bathroom. I hate using the public restroom, but you know, it's a ten hour trip. I had to go, and. Yeah. The girl in there, she's scrubbing away. I'm like, I know this bitch was not hired to scrub the bathroom. Scrub away. Not I mean, like she's that. she's got like she's a cleaner. She and she had her Bojangles shirt, so she was not hired to clean. And she looked like she was just so pissed. And so I gave her ten dollars. I was like, I know you wasn't supposed to do this. Just you know, uh, thank you for all you do. And other people are looking at me like, uh, am I supposed to do that too? <laughs> I was like, oh, I, I hope he started his friend. <laughs> I was like, I ain't, I ain't got nothing to do with that. I'm just, I just feel very bad because I know she ain't making no yeah. money. No, she's not getting paid extra to scrub their bathroom, and and she, she like her day is in the bathroom. Every time somebody uses a sink, she would scrub it. Oh, it's crazy. That's like, ugh. yeah. So it's Ain't like, you, 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 and then you think about like the people that are working in the grocery stores, dealing with frustrated yeah. customers, like they're not psychologists. 
And they make a minimum yeah. wage. Like, I don't know, it's just crazy. But I'm glad that the rest, you know, that we live in a society now where, like, Uber or, or Uber Eats, DoorDash, you know, and Grubhub, that those are pretty big right now because that's going to help these restaurants, you know, survive. Oh, yeah. You know, people don't have to get, you know, people that work there, you know, the servers, they're they're not going to need as many probably, but at least, you know, there'll be people, they'll just have rotating shift, I'm sure, you know. Yeah. But I I just think uh, people should really think about the, the, the service industry and even people like me, maybe, you know, merchandisers that have to go out there anyway and, and from store to store, you know, dealing with all types of damn personalities and it's just, I don't know. Yeah. You got to make a living. Yeah. I just, I, so I was thinking about that. So all these people stocked up. Did you see in the news how, um, oh, what about Facebook? I only, I read a Facebook article, to be honest with you. Um, how true it is, I don't know. I know um, a lot of these companies, like Nike's closing down, Apple's closing down their stores in order to reduce the risk of, you know, to help mitigate these um, social distancing. But I was thinking to myself um, how Amazon put the kibosh on some third-party sellers that go through Amazon that stockpile, um, like wipes and hand sanitizer and masks and things like that, and they were price gouging on Amazon. And like, eBay. Can you imagine? And eBay. Can you imagine being that person? Well, Big Karma has hit. There's a, one guy that was on the New York Times, it's like the face of it. He had like 17,000 uh-huh. units of sanitizer and all this all this product. And right. the government, the local government stepped in and forced him to donate it. And they're still looking into charges of pr- price gouging that he was doing. Yeah, but now look, he's, I like, the. Listen, you're price gouging. You're taking advantage of people. That's not right. But I don't know how they can force them to donate it, though. Like, he bought it. I was just about to say that. You can't force someone to, unless it's, like, part of, like, his, no. I don't understand how they could force him to, I don't know how they did that, how they can force him to to donate it. I mean, it's good to donate it, but it's, like, they came there. The police came there and made him, you know, put things in trucks and the guy, the the mayor of the town was there or whoever the heck, you know, district attorney. I don't know who well, it was. He's going to counter Sue and get his money back. So whatever. Yeah. But at the yeah. same time, it's still like he's out all this money. Yeah. But then at the same time, you price gouging people. Don't do that. Exactly. He oh, could have been, God. you know how much money he could, he could have right now if he did all that and initially went to nursing homes and stuff. You know much, yeah. how, how much of a hero he would have been? He would have been on Ellen and she would have gave him 20 grand. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? You don't think, you like, think. you did all that. But think about what, by doing, okay, you did all that. But think about what you could have, what you could be right mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. had you did the right thing initially instead of doing your mm-hmm. sob story like, well, this sucks. They're not letting me sell on eBay and Amazon. Bro, you could have took all that shit went to the local churches, the homeless shelters, the nursing homes. You know how much of a hero? Oh, my God. He would have had a presidential medal. Trump would have had him at the next (laughs) State of the Union. I mean, he he fucked up. He done fucked up, yeah. Been right on Ellen's couch. Yeah, he definitely done fucked up. Big time. So I have no sympathy for him. But it's like now, now, and that's that's what goes hand in hand with intention. That's how like you know someone's intention when they're um, during trying times, and which which avenue they take. Are right. you going to be that compassionate person and like you know letting people know what's up? I have ten. I'm only going to use two. I got eight. Who needs? Or I have ten. Oh, I have eight. I'll sell you eight. And this is how much I pay five. Now you could pay fifteen. Right. That's, that's a total. That's two different energies. So, so in terms of so you're talking about compassion and stuff like that during this time, you have three kids who are being. There's like feedback on you. I don't know if there's 
Do you hear that? Uh, or maybe it's me. It could be my my phone because I'm wearing a headpiece. Um, anyway, oh, is this you better? Have, yeah, that's better. Okay. Um, yeah, that's a lot Sorry. better. Um, so you have uh, three little ones. How are you dealing with this? Like, do you have to? I mean, they're young. Are you teaching? Like, are they learning still? Are they still doing like schoolwork? Are you teaching them about what's going on? Do they know why they're at home? They know why they're at home. Um, I'm teaching them. Uh, like, what did you tell them? Doing... Like, like, what? How did that go down? What did you specifically tell them when they were I like? They they knew about coronavirus in school apparently. Um, and I let them know. I, I just Googled it quickly and read verbatim what it said online. And I let them know that, you know, if you're rel- for, for this exact thing, if you're relatively healthy, you'll be okay. But if you have, you know, pre existing conditions, if you're older, um, very, very young, there could be potential problems. The reason we're doing this is to be safe for other people. So let's, and I did the whole example. Let's say you guys got it, but you don't show any symptoms. You go visit Nona. Nona has a compromised lungs. So Nona gets it. Nona gets sick. Nona might not be able to recover. So this is why we're doing this. Oh, okay. So, you know, they, they understood it in terms like that. And then, right. and here's, here's again where compassion comes into the home. Education.com and all these like ABC, um, ABC Learning and um, even Mo Willems, which is a children's author, the outpouring of 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 generosity from these um, companies during this time is amazing. Education.com is giving you access to free um, lesson plans based on your child's needs. Splash Math, um, iReady, um, ABC is one you pay for, um, and there's school programs that they can log into. And they've been, you know, virtual learning as, as the day has gone. Obviously, I'm not sticking to a full curriculum. I'm letting them relax a little bit, but they've had our our learning, our not, our learning, our not. So it's kind of like going back and forth. We're in a very loose curriculum at the moment, but our district will come out and give something a little bit more formal that they're going to have to do later on. But right. anyone out there that doesn't have, you know, the – superintendent support or the district support when it comes to these things you do have if you have access to um online education.com we'll post that on our, we'll, we'll post that because mm-hmm. we want to make sure that they can see it like written out yeah um, education.com and you can go they have math uh english language arts science they have all sorts of resources you can have and on youtube if you go to uh lunchtime with Mo Willems or just type in Mo Willems, he's doing a lunchtime sketching. So he's teaching you. It's it's a series of pigeon and elephant books, and he's teaching how to draw them, and he's going to do one a day. And okay. starting tonight, starting today, um, the Metropolitan Opera is going to be on YouTube. Um, they're going to be on their, on their channel. They're going to be live streaming operas. Like you're really going to have your kids watching operas. I love the opera. I know you and I went together. I'm all about it. Maybe they won't, but I will. They're like trying to uh, binge Full House or Fuller House. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what's happening. That's like Carmen in San Diego. Oh, gosh. I know. Yeah. They're, they're outside at the moment enjoying fresh air. and, and that's, you know. that's the one thing that our mayor, I mean, our governor, Cuomo, he said that all state parks, all New York state parks, parks and beaches um, are open to the public, no charge, which I thought was great because, you know, people can go start yeah. crazy with their kids in the house and ask them for a snack every five minutes, you know, and so to be able to take them, you know, obviously you don't want to be playing on top of other kids, but at the same time, yeah. you know, go for a walk, let them ride their bike. Yeah. You know? Actually, you know what we you know what we've been doing as part of our curriculum here for my school? Um, carbon based. Stop, stop moving around. Wait, what? You, are you oh, moving around, girl? Over. As part oh. of the social emotional welfare for the kids, right? Our district, um, we, we create videos to say hi to the kids and we send them out for. Well, me and my kids have been doing, um, it doesn't have to be perfect. 
It just has to be helpful. So we're starting a series for the kids here in my district, in my school, where um, it's how to make your bed. We've done two so far, how to make your bed. And the other one is when you're done playing with your toys, put them away. Everything has a home. And we've got a whole idea and whole plan. And that's going to be part of their curriculum to kind of do something that's helpful. Now, that's good. Yeah. Very good. Whatever you can do, you know, just keep them active and keep it moving. I mean, Rona out here. Now, what about you? Havoc. Rona out here, you can have the Congo (laughs) Punk. And like the, it's like bear. Oh no! Like sold out of everything, you know. And we, you know, we went away to to my mother's down south. So, like today's the first day we could really go to the supermarket because we got in last night. And so, you know, but I mean, we have toilet paper. Not that we're like worried about that. We have paper towels. Mm -hmm. Not that we're worried about that. I think the main thing is just like. You, you don't want to go out of the house. You don't want to order. It's not. It's not six no. months like where people are where they're rationing bread. It's not that serious. Yeah. You just. You just want to. You just want to be comfortable. You know. Right. Yeah. But I think people are taking it to another extreme, and so you know tomorrow I have to work. Um. But you know I'll do what I got to do. I have a. You know today's my birthday, so I got a free. Yeah. You know at Starbucks you get something. So I got the free protein sandwich. So I'll take that to work for lunch tomorrow. And, you know, just kind of do it that way. Take it a day at a time. Right. You might you might look, you might look in where wherever you have to go, it's going to be very quiet. Yeah, that's what I'm, because I, you know, I work on technology and electronics and nobody is really trying. Well, you never know. All of a sudden, everybody want to get a new TV because they stuck at home. I'm going to be pissed. I'm like, bitch, I don't know. That ain't my job. <laughs> go ask somebody that works here. I mean, as it is, I you know, I also go into pet stores. I was at a pet store last week, and the woman was like, is there an expiration date on there? And I showed her, and she's like, oh, okay. She's like, who knows how long we'll be stuck in the house with the dog. I'm like, Ugh. God. But, you know, you got to feed your dogs. But I'm just, but this is before yeah. everything was closed. This was last week. Things are changing daily. They like, really like, are. They yeah. really, they're changing so quickly that it's like, I don't know if but I'm coming or going. I mean, I, my plan today was to go to the casino and I'm laying down doing a podcast remotely with you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, this is crazy. I did a planned a birthday party. I planned a birthday party for my mom this past weekend, and ten people came. Six Uh, people invited. So there you go. You know, it's like one of those things. The only thing I can say, the only thing I can say about this, and I'm not complaining about people not coming. I understand the situation, but common courtesy, call, text, email, Tamika. I'm not going to be able to make it. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's all. Yeah. It's a, yeah. It's, like, it's all. So it, yeah. that, that was the, that was one of the things that really annoyed me out of the whole thing because it's you know it just I, I don't I don't understand that you know it just it was crazy you just yeah just let me know you're not coming. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't take much. And if you don't want to talk to me, text me. Tamika, with this coronavirus, I just don't feel comfortable leaving the house. Okay, no problem. Take care of your health. Yeah. Yeah. But, but yeah. nothing, nothing, you know, and I feel bad for my mom and stuff like that. And so it was like one of those feelings where I was like, okay, so the coronavirus is putting a, a, a real damper on things. But at the same time, you know, I want my mom to have a good day. You know, right. so it, it was tough. This coronavirus is crazy. It's, it's really having an effect on people's lives. Like you said, you're a friend of friend with the wedding. It's yeah. like, you know, but I think the responsible thing for her to do is to probably postpone it and let people know yeah. today. If the yeah. wedding is next week, you need to tell them today. Yeah. People are yeah. flying. You never know. They're flying. They can still, if you have a plane ticket, 
they, these airlines have made it so that you're not going to get penalized. You can cancel your flight. You just have a credit. Yeah. Like, don't don't put people in these positions, you know, if, they, if, you, if you're going to cancel it. Oh, yeah, that's true. They come all the way out here, you cancel it, and you're like, what? What? Right, like if if what I if I my mom's say? party was next week, I would have canceled. Right. All this, a few days ago was five hundred, five hundred in the room. Now it's fifty. Yesterday was five hundred. Today it's fifty. You know what I'm saying? So things are changing daily. Did you? Did I lose you? you? No. Oh, oh, okay. You, all of a sudden, I, oh. I'm like talking, and this is why I hate doing a show remotely. I need to see you. <laughs> I need to see what you're doing. But, but not only that. Do you do you see all these celebrities now with coronavirus? We have so many athletes. Um, mm-hmm. and now Idris Idris Elba. Tom he Hanks. has it too. Yep. Idris Elba. Idris, homie. Oh Lord. Not my Idris. Idris. Not- well, Tom Hanks, Tom Hanks will be fine. He survived on that damn island by himself. That beach. Damn cast away. He'd be all right. Just give him a soccer ball. He'd be fine. <laughs> but one thing I love about Twitter, this this is like, um, if you if, if you if you look at all these people with the Idris Elba memes now, oh my lord, it's the best. I gotta I gotta check it out. That's the one thing I can can find humor in is is uh social media in terms of making jokes and making light i mean from black people yeah. calling it the rona you know people the call we, oh i God. swear black people will change they i don't know i mean everybody's see, got their own thing but i love black people have, though have you, have you seen the dance with the with the remix of cardi b's voice coronavirus no it oh, is Lord. the most catchy and these dance moves are, I love I need it. you to post it on our Instagram page. <laughs> Find it and post it, it is, please. It is so good. It is so good. And your voice, it is it is so good. You got to, yeah, oh. please post it on our page. And if y'all, you know, all y'all listen out there, make sure you, you listen to our show. You can be quarantined in the house and you don't want to listen to your kids. Put them headphones on and listen to us. It. We need the likes and the follows and the reposts and the retweets and the streams. And what are you guys doing to to help with this uh, Rona? Exactly. We'd like to know. Definitely. There's a hand. Who's and does, has anyone hoarded toilet paper? Yeah, I'd like to. Well, let's say, let's save those for the question of the, of the day. Okay, sorry. That's a good. That's a good thing, though. That's a that's a good um. Good question, but let's have that on a separate post because I need to know. I really need to know. <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I want to ask. I want to talk to you about one more thing. The key trending section se- segment. Well, it's it's actually Idris Elba. It's it's okay. He's actually that. Okay, so first it was Tom Hanks, which were like he's a national treasure. Whatever, he ain't going nowhere. Idris Elba, it'll be all right. Athletes, I think they'll be okay. Is there, is there any celebrity or pseudo celebrity that you're like, you know what, go into quarantine and stay on social media? Well, I have celebrity for for both of those. I need Betty White in quarantine, okay, and Cicely Tyson in quarantine. Which is y'all stay home. Y'all don't need to be, especially Cicely Tyson, because she's still out there working. I think she just did a movie that's coming out this year. So look at her director. Claudine, go in the house. All right. Um, And then in terms of staying off the social media, I'm going to need Trump to stay off social media. You're not helping. It's not going to happen. I I need direction and you're not giving it. You know, you're making me like Pence. Like, what the fuck? Oh, Oh, my God. I just and took a sip of coffee when you said that. I choked. Don't. Pence oh, and Pence man. and mother. You know he calls his wife mother. Oh. I know it is so <sighs> disgusting. I, I just can't. I took Look. coffee and then I threw it up in the. <laughs> Pence and mother, you know, 
Oh, God. But, yeah, I, I would. I need Trump to, to stay off off of social media. I know that's not going to happen, but you know that it, it it would it would really bode well. You know because it it would behoove him. You know, just like hand it over to somebody else. Go to Mar-a-Lago. Don't tell nobody you're there. You know, <laughs> we all know you got the Rona, even though your doctor came out and said you didn't. We don't believe you. <sighs> Next, what about you? I don't believe him. You believe him? Look, you need um, to take what you need to turn, take Fox News up. See, this is why I don't believe him. Number one, he never tells the truth. Everything is great. Okay. Like I'm going to post this thing I saw with his statement beginning January 20th up until this week on his okay. his point of view about about Rona. But this is why I don't believe him specifically as to why he, I don't believe that he's, he's fine. First, somebody asked him, was he getting tested? And he's like, there's no need. Okay? Okay. I need a president to always be tested. Uh, when, when President Obama was a senator at the time, he went to Kenya and had an AIDS test on camera. You know that, what it does to people? This, he took him and the, Michelle Obama took an AIDS test in Kenya, and you can see them drawing the blood and everything. Like, people need to be reassured, okay, the president, he took a test. I don't have anything to be scared about. It looks so easy. So stuff like that makes people, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it reass- yeah. reassures the public. And if you're so healthy, then take the test. So then somebody pressed him on it. He's like, yeah, I probably will. The same day, his doctor came out and was like, there, he came into little contact with these people. This is on Friday afternoon. He came into little contact with these people. He really, he doesn't need to take it. Friday night, I mean, Saturday morning, the White House says Trump took the test last night, waiting for results. Huh? Saturday night, he's, he's clean, he's healthy, he's great. I don't believe you. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, okay? I believe I, thing what, my whatever. Says. <laughs> no, I know you do. Shoot. So, so Mel Brooks and his son did a really cute. He's still alive. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So good. He did this really. He did a really cute PSA with his son about social distancing, and that got me thinking. Like you, you said um, when I asked you, 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 you took the, my list. Um, Betty White, who's a national treasure, Cicely Tyson, um, and then I was thinking, uh, my my mind got lost in a blank because I didn't want to forget anyone else. But um, um, I'm thinking about um, uh, people that I kind of want to shut up and like we don't have to hear from them for two weeks. Um, who would that which be? Would actually, well, I know this sounds terrible, but politicians. I wish they would just shut the fuck up and go away for a bit. Um, all of them, even ones I like, I want all of them. To they only have have have, have several seats, right? Just like all of them. I only need to hear like, look, the only person I actually wanted to hear from today was Governor Cuomo. So I need to hear from him, him, and not some fucking memes about what's going on in the state. What's cl- is the casino open or not? It's not. <laughs> all right, let's move on. Okay. Can I get a drink on my birthday or not? I can't? Okay, fine. Can I take myself out to dinner for my birthday? No, you can't? All right, fine. I'm going to make myself a sandwich. And then I can't, and, and then the thing is, I keep finding myself in the world of hell on Twitter with the whole, like, so Arnold Schwarzenegger did another PSA where he's, like, about staying at home, and he has, I believe they're donkeys. In the yeah, one's a donkey, and, yeah, one's a donkey, and one is, is, is a, I think it's, I don't know. I think it was the other one. I thought it was a mini horse. Okay. Yeah, yeah, mini horse. Quiet. Can, can you kind of just like not talk right now? <laughs> you didn't like it? I thought it was funny. Yeah. No, it was, it was hilarious. He, he's feeding them carrots, which I thought was hilarious. But then I was like, you know what? I'm not sure. And then, I want like, people. See, I I don't mind that because it's like, he's not just talking straight in the camera with a tie and an American flag on his lapel. You know, he's just chilling oh, with his yeah. donkey. Like, just wash your hands, please. What would have been great is after he, finished car- after he finished his carrots, he had the camera follow him to the sink and he washed his hands. 
You know what I'm saying? I have no problem with the creative team. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, somebody's creative team. Like I like when um Mariah did her thing, you know, for yes. and then the kids um came out with me and Mariah. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So back they start rapping dirties dirties first and I'm like, Oh, I love it. You know, and then what's her name? Our our friend. Um oh, I will survive. Uh, <laughs> what's uh, her name? Um, Gloria Gaynor? Yes, our our good friend Gloria Gaynor teaching us the method, the I way to watch a hand. I got pictures to prove. <laughs> but yeah, like We've like that kind of thing. Out. Yeah, we hung. You know what I mean? We hung out. But but <laughs> stuff like that, you know. So yeah, I don't I don't mind that social kind of social media. But I don't need this political divisiveness. I don't care. No. Just like I said, I don't mind if it's my my governor or the the town council telling me what's what. I don't Why need do I you. I care about Canada. I don't what do you care mean? what Trudeau's doing. Did I, oh, I yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, right. Women is right there. Quarantine. Okay, like, okay, they quarantine, you know? So what? Only thing I want to know about Canada is is Mar- Meghan Markle and Harry on a walk with the, the little Archie. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> what they doing? What are they doing? That's all I want to know Canada. <laughs> That's all you got. I don't want to hear about Bieber. I don't want to hear about no. Drake or Michael J. Fox. What are Megan and Harry doing? <laughs> do you, do you, and talk about, like, because, like, pseudo-celebrity and politician, um, do you watch The Mass Singer? Uh, you know I try to watch it. I know you and your daughter are fans of the show. So Sarah Palin was on there. Yeah, I saw that. And she... And she sang Baby Got Back. I and I have never wanted somebody to be in quarantine so bad. But, you know, dreams don't always come true. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, you know, it's things like that. You know, just several seats, all of you. Oh, listen, a lot of people have disappointed in this. You need to sit down. You want to Wait, who? Oh my gosh! Do you see that 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 video of him with somebody else and stuff? And you're like, um, what? The video of him and Frankie Nunez. Oh no, you're talking about somebody else. This is why we shouldn't do a uh, remote. Devin Nunez is a politician that was on Fox News telling his constituents to go to the bar. Frankie Nunez is a little boy that was on TV show. I can't with you right now. No, you're, going, you're also going in and out. When you hear this back, you're going to be like, oh, she's not an idiot. It's the audio. I'm like, what? No, it's probably going to be your audio because I'm the one recording it. I can't with you right now. Look, just come through the trending real quick and hang this up. That was the trending. Oh, it was? Oh, okay. So where can they yeah. catch us? <laughs> Young BIS 18 on Instagram and Twitter. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Anything All else you want to add? Of, be kind. Be thoughtful. Wash your hands. And and you know what? Facetime your relatives. Make sure everybody's all right. Yeah, all right. And 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 take get a get a meal to go. Uh, shop local. Get a meal to go. Shout out to my my brother Zeb for calling me today. He actually picked up the phone and called oh. me on my birthday. I, thank you, bro. Love you. I love that. Yeah. And happy birthday to Miss Thanks. Tamika A. Blair. I'm 46. Wow. And you don't look a day over 46. Wow. All right. Okay, Marissa. Okay. I I'm love a, you, I'm homie. A, I'm going to remember that. Yeah, I love you, too. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs>